Welcome to the Humanities Workspace at Thomas Shalabu. I'm Mrs. Bain, and this lovely space is where you, your teachers come to work when they're not in the classroom. I have uh, grade seven and grade nine language arts this year. I teach seven one, seven two, seven five, and Mrs. Reeves and I share nine one. I hope you enjoy our video and you get to know a little bit more about us. We're really excited to be here this year and starting a new school. There is so much positive energy and excitement among our staff. It's just amazing. Oh, why hello there. Welcome to the Humanities Workspace. I am Mrs. Reeves. I'm excited to be teaching grade seven, eight, and nine language arts this year. I teach class seven, four, eight, one, eight, two, and then Miss Bain and I share teaching in nine, one. I'm so excited for all the writing and reading and exploring that we're going to do in language arts class this year. And I know already that the students are going to wow us with their capabilities. All right, we're looking forward to having a great year. Go Senators. We're gonna talk a little bit now about our classroom expectations. Our first classroom expectation is that all students are in a safe and caring classroom environment. Our second uh, classroom expectation is that everyone does their best work or works hard. We try to remember the phrase, we can do hard things. And it's okay if something's hard, we can still put in our best effort. Our third classroom expectation is that we are here to problem solve with you. So if you have an issue that's coming up in class, or maybe you're struggling to find time to get that homework done, we want to work as a team to figure out a time that's best for you to get that work done. Or if it's another situation, we really would appreciate you coming to talk to us so that we can problem solve together. Our other expectation is that we all work together to create a positive culture at Thalma Shalafu School. That's why we have a problem solving approach. Uh, we just want to be able to work together and keep our community in the classroom and in the school positive where we care and respect each other. This year, language arts classes will be competing in the House Cup. This means that each class has been assigned a crest based on a Latin name and will be competing for house points throughout their block. In the end, one house will prevail. That house collecting the most points in the month will be able to receive an earned reward that is based on student requests. Students can earn house points through a variety of ways, both individual and whole group. Teachers will keep track of house points being collected through both a Google form and on the whiteboard in classrooms beside their house crests. Okay, so we're just gonna tell you a little bit about our first few weeks at school. We've spent a lot of time really trying to get to know our students. In grades seven, eight, and nine, all of our first units are about identity and exploring who we are and what we stand for. We've also done a few activities that are called screeners, and this helps us get to see students' writing and reading levels so that we can start teaching to meet them where they're at. This year in language arts, we will be following the Edmonton Public Schools scope and sequence. We will also be using the packages developed by Edmonton Public Schools to ensure that students have a smooth transition between at home and in-class learning. Another thing that we've done for the past few weeks is spend a lot of time working on routines. Yes, our safety routines, but also the routines that we will be following in language arts. So for example, on Mondays is always journal writing day, and we've set up a nice structure for that journal writing. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are all independent reading for the first few minutes of class. And Friday, everyone's favorite, is First Chapter Friday, which has been a big hit so far. The past couple weeks, we have been super impressed with all the students' effort not only in following COVID procedures, 
but it's showing through in their writing, especially when we're doing journal writing. Students are really focusing on taking the time to do their best work, and we really appreciate their efforts. Let's keep it up. All right, I hope you enjoyed our quick video and getting to know Mrs. Reeves and myself. We really do wish that this was being done in person, but hopefully this is the next best thing. We are looking forward to an amazing year and no pandemic or anything else is going to keep this school from being the absolute best. Already we can tell our students are going to be shining stars all year long. We can't wait for all of you to blow us away and this school has such an incredible future. Let's keep working hard this year and persevering. Show your grit, show your enthusiasm, and we're gonna have a spectacular year.